Hi, this is Cyrus Sutton, and uh, I'm here for Adorama TV. Today we're going to be looking at off-the-grid video production. It seems like these days you see more and more people shooting in places that are far removed from the city. I'm here to share with you some of the tips and tricks I've learned in making films without access to power. I tend to keep my production kit pretty small and nimble so that I'm able to be versatile in where I shoot. When you're out of civilization and you're shooting, you're not even close to your van or you're not even close to your, your crew. And uh, you know, oftentimes you're getting shots from a backpack or you're, 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 you're going out. You don't want to be able to have to carry around a tripod to get a steady shot. You know, GoPros are obviously great solutions. DSLRs are definitely your friend. Having an image stabilized lenses that you could handhold, or the Sony a7S II with its built-in image stabilizer in the sensor, or a mini tripod that can really telescope and fit inside your backpack to help you get you know, those locked off shots or time lapses if you need. Something else to consider is memory cards. When you're off the grid or you're traveling, oftentimes offloading footage isn't something that you always want to be doing. Maybe the times in which you'll be able to do that are going to be fewer and far between. Say I need 128 gigabytes of card space. I'll maybe bring three or four or five times that amount of card space. I don't really need to back up my files at the end of every day. I can back it up maybe at the end of a week or at the end of four or five day swell or trip or hike or something like that. Having car space gives you a lot of latitude. My van is kind of my mobile editing studio. I can hook up RAID hard drives, full-size monitors. It's 200 watts of solar panels on the roof and 200 amp hours of batteries um, below. It has a voltage regulator to keep your batteries from overcharging and keep them stable. And it also has a 1500 watt inverter. Um, the inverter converts direct current into alternating current. So it gives you an interface in which you can plug in a power strip. If I want to charge batteries on cameras or if I want to you know, run my laptop or my hard drives to back up, I don't need to be connected to anything else. You can buy foldable solar panels that you can take on the road with you, which can trickle charge into car batteries that you can buy at the location that you're at. You can always bring with you a light, you know, say 400 watt inverter um, that can go out of those batteries. Um, that's a really simple solution, something that we did in Russia. My solar system is something I've only done recently. For 10 years, I simply existed with a laptop, a DSLR, in my car battery with a trickle charging solar panel. You don't need to have an expensive solar array if you have a non-plug-in hard drive and a laptop. If you guys have any tips you want to share, please do so on Adorama Learning Center. Feel free to share and like this video so that other people can, uh, can enjoy it. And thanks for tuning in.